Guys, ever had a system crash or a virus or a hard drive failure which has resulted in the loss of files or folders? Yeah, me too. Well today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to recover those lost or deleted files in Windows. And it's coming right up. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scenes for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, how do you recover lost files or folders in Windows 10? Well, in a word, recover it. Recover it is a piece of must-have software from Wondershare. Now, if you don't know who Wondershare are, they are a software company and they make a ton of cool software tools. I've reviewed lots of their products, I've used lots of their products, and you know what? I love them. Now, first off guys, I was asked by Wondershare to review Recover It. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that whether I'm sent something or whether I buy it myself, you're always gonna get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So I guess that spoiler alert at the beginning that I love their products was a bit of a giveaway, but they do make some cool stuff. But back to the point, losing files and trying to recover them can be a bit of a daunting task. Now in the past, you had to be like an IT specialist or a data recovery specialist, or you had to send your hard drive away in order to try and recover your data. But today, that's not the case. Pretty much anyone can do this. And sometimes in a matter of just a few clicks. But how do files actually get deleted? Well, there are several ways. One way is maybe the user pushes the delete button. Uh, yeah, this does actually happen, but this isn't so drastic. As if you do do this, you can hop over to the recycle bin click restore and no worries your files are back where you deleted them from so nothing to worry about there but what about something a little more sinister well you could actually hold down the shift and the delete key which would now bypass the recycle bin but I guess you would kind of know that you were doing that maybe you deleted a file that was bigger than 9 gig now I think 9 gig is around the sort of size for a file to go into the recycle bin. That's like the maximum size. So effectively a file of this size, if you deleted it, would actually bypass the recycle bin and you'd get a message saying that, you know, something like this file would be permanently deleted. So whichever way, it doesn't really matter as there are ways to get those files back. Now, on Windows, you do get a few options, especially Windows 10. Now, there's the recycle bin, which we already talked about. If your deleted file qualifies to go into the recycle bin, like it's under nine gig, then you can go to the recycle bin, click on restore, and this will put your file back in the same place that you deleted it from. Now, if the file is still there, but corrupt, you can try and use the restore from a previous version option. Now to use this, you've kind of got to go into your Explorer, find the file, right click on that file, select properties, and then you've got like some tabs. One of them is the previous versions tab. And if you click on that, you'll be given a list of previous version files. As you can see here, I don't have any, but if you do, you might be lucky enough and you might be able to find that version, an earlier version, to restore. You may have some luck from this method, albeit it's a little bit more manual because if you do find a file in there, you'll have to rename the file, choose where you want to restore it, and you know then you might be pretty lucky enough to get that file back. Or if you're like me and you religiously back up your data, you could maybe do a restore from a previous backup. But I've got to tell you, I have tried all of these methods. 
and I've had mixed results. So I'm gonna tell you this right here, right now, by far the best way to restore files or even folders or a corrupt hard drive or maybe a hard drive that's been infected by a virus is to use a professional data recovery tool. And I've got to say, as I said before, spoiler alert, Recover It is one of the best out there. Now, whether it's documents, photos, videos, corrupt hard drive, like I said, or a damaged hard drive, honestly, Recover It has you covered. So let's jump onto the computer and let's take a look at it. Once you've downloaded and installed and launched the software, you'll see the user interface. From here, you can pick the drive where you deleted the file from, or maybe where your corrupted file is, and then perform a scan. Now, the scan will take a while to complete. Once you've finished though, you'll see a list of deleted files available for recovery. You can also preview files. So if you click on a file, you can preview it in a preview window. Sometimes you can't preview them because they're just too corrupt to be previewed but you can still recover them. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples now of recovery and also recovering files that are too corrupt to view. All you have to do is to click on the files that you wanna select for recovery or even folders maybe. Click on restore and you're good to go. Your files will be recovered in literally a few clicks. So whether you've accidentally deleted files or folders or you have a corrupt hard drive or even a virus, Wondershare's Recover It will give you an easy and efficient way to recovery. So guys, that was a quick whiz through the basic features of this software. Now, this software is packed with capabilities. So if you wanna see more of those features, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'll also put any links to the product and any discount codes in the description and if you have any comments or questions then please leave them in the comment section below until then guys thanks to you for watching and thanks to wondershare for asking me to review this software it is really really good and it's so easy to use you know i'm, I'm actually blown away with it anyway if you've got any questions let me know i'm dave with scenes for a lens and i will see you the next time bye for now